Hi, this is Mindy Benini, and welcome to this Peermark tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at the peer review process from the student's point of view. We're at this part of the process. As a student, we're going to begin in content, and we'll go to the Peermark module that we've been working in, and we'll choose Review a Final Paper. Notice up here it says Peermark Reviews, and there's a blinking red light. This is where the student turned in their original paper. Now to do the reviews, they need to click on the Peermark Review tab from the upper navigation. Here you'll see they've been assigned three reviews, two from other students and one of their own. So let's start with this peer review. Again, remember, I did use sample documents that were on the web, so this is not a normal sample of what the student would see. But as they're reading through, they have these tools underneath the tools icon here that they can choose to do some markup so they can highlight or they can free write text. In this case, they can highlight something or they can type. So while many students may not feel comfortable marking up the paper directly within the document itself, they should feel comfortable answering the questions that you have provided them. Over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the four questions that I added to my rubric when I created the assignment. Here's an example of two of the free type questions, and here are two of the ranking questions. So in this one, name one thing that you learned from this paper does this paper sustain a coherent point? Why or why not? All right, and then they just write this, write the strength of this paper's thesis. After they're done, they click Submit. When they're finished, they can click the Return to Assignment inbox and do their next one. And here it will show which ones they've completed and which ones they haven't. 